Hey guys, it's Jenny. Welcome back to the Bookworms Buddy. And it is time to talk about some journal ideas. So I have been doing quite a bit in the crafting journals and I wanted to talk a little bit about um, some journaling ideas I've had, some journals that I've done, and how I've improved or changed things or ideas and all that good stuff there. So let's just get started. Um, the first journal that I ever made, which I did do a flip through on, and that was my bookmark junk journal. And as you can see, it, it just, it got massive. And this is a single signature. It was just one signature. And my poor spine just, you know, it just can't take <laughs> all of this. I glued these entrances to where it's sewn. I glued it to give it a little more stability. But um, like I said, there is a flip through of this on my channel. Um, I can link to that down below. But this was the very first journal I did. And these journals start out coming from my memory box and in my memory box i had a whole bunch of happy mail from viewers um, letters and cards and gifts and all of those cards and letters are in this junk journal some of the cards made up the pages and the envelopes made up the pages of this junk journal um, and then some of them i just adhered to a page in the journal and um, I, I make bookmarks, like I said before. So I wanted a place to store some of the bookmarks that I don't use. Now, none of my beaded bookmarks are in here because I feel like those would be too heavy to overload this journal with. These are not bookmarks that I have made. These are bookmarks that I have acquired or have been gifted to me and, and so on. So that was my first idea was to make a bookmark junk journal and like I said, I'll link the flip through if you want to see what is inside this journal. The next journal that I made was the very first Christmas journal. Um, again, all the cards and stuff in my memory box. And they do make up the pages of this journal. I did not do a flip through on this one. Um, I don't know that I will. Um, this felt on here that I used was very, very hard to work with. It didn't want to glue down and I don't have a sewing machine. So I had to count on the glue to hold it. Finally, it did hold. Um, this is a two signature. So I stuffed it up a two signature. One, two, um, for all my Christmas memories, Christmas past. And I knew it wasn't going to be enough. And I ne didn't even get close to using up all my Christmas cards and Christmas letters and all that stuff. So I made my second Christmas journal. So this is the second Christmas journal. Um, this one, however, I did do a flip through on. And I will also link that one. This one is huge, you guys. And I still have more memories to put in here. I left pages blank. This one is a three signature, as you can see, all three of them right here. Um, and it still is just gaping. Not as bad as what the bookmark one was gaping, but still a lot. Um, I also went ahead and redid the tassel for this journal. Now it's just very clean. Before it was just kind of ratty and whatever but I wanted to remake it and keep all the elements that I had in the first one but I added some extra ribbon to it so now it jingles when you pick it up and it sounds like Christmas so anyway like I said there is a flip through on this one some things have been added and changed even though you know when we're doing journals we always say oh I'm done with this one we're never done so that was the third journal I made The next one that I started here is, again, another Gator Mouth. This is my journal 
It's a journal to me for Avery. So when Avery's about 18, he will get this journal. Um, I did not do a flip through of this one. I don't know if I'm going to do a flip through. But you can see there's lots of charms. Avery loves crosses. Um, there's butterflies. There's just all kinds of charms on this one. And then, of course, the ones from the sewing threads that are through this book, the signature. Um, this one is a two signature book. Thought I'd have plenty of room. It's still gator mouthed pretty bad. I don't even have a closure for this one. I think it's just going to be um, some kind of uh, maybe his football. Um, this that I covered the spine with this material. Maybe I'll, you know, do some strips of that and tie it around the book at the closure. But yeah, it is very full. It, there's a lot of sports related stuff in here because he is in all kinds of sports. And just um, lots of memories that I put in here, little notes to him. Um, he has seen it. He has not read the notes or anything like that, but I have shown him. He loves the pockets and finding all that stuff in there. So I think when he's older, he'll really appreciate having all these memories in one place. If you guys didn't know, Avery is my very firstborn grandchild. And then after that one, I made a Christmas uh, gift for my sister-in-law. The journal is not a Christmas journal. Um, it's got some Hawaiian elements in it because my husband and my sister-in-law are a quarter Hawaiian. Their mom was half, their grandmother full. And there's a lot of Hawaiian elements through the journal. Right now, this journal is wrapped up and... Um, it won't be unwrapped till Christmas, of course. Um, I don't know if I told you guys the story of us doing wish lists for Christmas this year. And on her wish list is a book that uh, she wanted. It's by Chris Colfer. She read that series, Land of Stories. So we thought, we both thought that this was like a novella. I went ahead and ordered that off her wish list. And when it came, I said, this is not heavy enough to be a book. Sure enough, it was a book, but it was a book for maybe ages three to five or three to four or something. So I just ended up giving it to her. But I wanted something still special to give her for Christmas. So I made her um, this journal. And I was going to do the flip through on it and show you guys. But I figured, you know, maybe if she'd get on YouTube and come across the video, then she would see it was for her. And I didn't want to take that chance. So I did not do the flip through. So that was the next one I did. After that, I decided to do a personal journal for me. And that would be this journal. And later on, um, in a few days time, you will see a flip through of this journal. Um, so I'm not going to give you all the details. Um, I just got this lock and key charm on the front, which I thought was really cute. But it is kind of gatoring up a little bit um this journal is pretty much finished i'm not adding anything else to it till january and then i can start using it to journal in but like i said i'm not going to get into everything about this i'll talk about that when i do the flip through on it then there was one last journal that i did and that was a little artsy journal for my granddaughter kaya um because she just I figured she would love to color and draw in the journal and it could be something she could give you know as a keepsake to her mom someday um, I don't have this journal of course Kaya has it but it had unicorn elements in it and um, she really really loved it I just hope that she uses it and I hope that um, her mommy you know gets her to use it Another journal I made was a small Christmas journal, little miniature journal um, for my youngest daughter that she could put her Christmas memories in. Um, it was made with a Christmas card. Um, I did not do a flip through on that either. I gave her that one too so she could get ready for Christmas, whether she wanted to use it for Christmas past like I am using mine or if she just wanted to start just for this year. And one other journal that I made was a little miniature journal for my sister um, just to make her kind of feel appreciated and to let her know that I love her and I'm thinking about her. I haven't seen her in so, so many years and um, we're making a, a, 
a plan to go visit her come this July, I'm thinking. So um, that will be nice to see her. But I made her a little tiny miniature journal. It was just itty bitty. And of course she loved it. Um, she said she might put some Christmas stuff in there. I don't know for sure, but the whole journal was sister related. And it really turned out very, very cute. So that is all the journals. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine journals that I have made so far in this month and a half time that I started doing these journals because I was inspired by Bobby over at Paginator. Um, and she inspired me to look at more junk journals and that was just opening a whole new can right there, guys. So I've been having a lot of fun doing these journals. Now for new journal ideas, I've got several that I've got to get done. I've got one that I'm doing for my best friend who lives in Jersey. Um, and I'm going to start hers after the first of the year. My oldest daughter and I are going to do the Monster Book of Monsters from Harry Potter because um, she is a Potterhead and this journal will be for her. And we chose that element of Harry Potter, which is the, the Book of Monsters. Um, and she will absolutely love that journal. I know she will. It's going to take a lot of work. Um, we do have a lot of the elements that we need. Like we've got the, um, the fur for the cover. We got the eyes that go on there. We need to get the belt. Um, we're going to have seven signatures in it and each signature is going to have the cover of that book in this big monster book. Um, I don't know if we're going to go and buy each of those Harry Potter books because I don't want to use my Harry Potter books. I don't want to tear those up for this journal. Um, so we'll probably go and buy them at a used bookstore or order them online. Um, it's risky doing that on a used bookstore because sometimes the dust jacket dust jackets aren't with it um, Or we can go and and print off the covers from like Goodreads or Some place where they have the cover and use that as that uh, Part of the signature because it's gonna be the very first page of the signature So we'll figure that out also She would like to go and get a huge encyclopedia used encyclopedia from the bookstore because we had to have a huge book for the Book of Monsters journal because it was a very big book um, in the Harry Potter movie. So there's that one. Um, I got to do four or three more journals for sure for my grandkids, each of them. That was just Avery. So I got to do one for Kaya, Roran, and Zechariah. So that is on the agenda. They can take time because they're all under the age of five. So I don't have to worry too much. Avery's needed to be done because he's going to be 18 in five years. And that'll be five more years of memories to put in his book. So I've got those to do. I'm also going to do an owl journal because you guys know I love owls. That is my favorite animal of all time. And I wish I could own a real live owl. Um, my favorite owl, of course, is the snowy owl, but I also love the barn owls. I think they're beautiful as well. So I've got all kinds of owl images and graphics and stuff on my computer because, you know me, I mean, whether it be wallpapers or book covers or whatever it is, so I'll have plenty to fill up that journal with. I'll use it for whatever part of um, the year I'm in after I fill up my newest journal that I just did. Um, and then also I am, I've got another journal that I don't want to really talk about because I don't want the person to know about it, but there is another journal in the making. Um, my <clears throat> supplies for that journal will be here today and I will get working on that one. Um, let's see what else was there. I think that's it on the horizon to, to get started on. Um, I have most of the supplies for all of this except for my grandbabies. That just comes over time with memories and, and whatever. But yeah, those are the journaling ideas I've got. I've been learning a whole lot about, um, you know, making new pockets, learning new ephemera, and all kinds of stuff for these journals. So I'm really looking forward to getting started on those. But that's it for this video guys if you if you guys enjoy making journals if you enjoy watching these videos let me know in the comments and um we'll go from there but thanks for staying tuned and i'll see you in the next video bye